Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com and in this video we're going to be using the St. James plugin suite to dial in a classic rock style tone. You can use this as a starting point for your own classic rock tones and make adjustments to this to suit your own needs. So we're going to be focusing mainly on the EL34 amp for this. Now the reason for that is the EL34 amp has a little bit more of a vintage game structure and a bit more of that British mid-range that we're looking for in a great classic rock tone. So we're going to start at the cabinets for this. Now I've already prepared a dual cab rig for this. So we're actually using two different cabinets here which are both from the Series 1 range. We've got the Series 1 4x12 angled on one side and on the other side I've got the series 1 4x12 straight cabinet. Now I've gone for this because typically in a classic rock band most of our favorite classic rock bands and guitar players would often use a full stack so that's what I'm using here. I'm using an angled cab and a straight cab. Now I've got these panned slightly left and right so one is 35% left one is 35% right. You can go wider if you want a big stereo spread. And I've also used two different microphones here so we get a nice blend of the two sounds. One cab is being mic'd with a 67 condenser and the other is being mic'd with a 57 dynamic. Now again, you can change microphones to suit your own needs, but with a classic rock sound, you want a full bodied sound, which is what the condenser is going to give us. And you want a little bit of focus, which is what an on axis 57 is going to give us. That's going to give us a real focused cut and this is going to give us some nice body to the sound. So a blend of those two mics will work great for this type of sound. So we are going to be using some compression and some overdrive in this video as well. And currently I have the reverb switched on, which is in a whole reverb sound. So as the amp is currently set, it's on the clean channel and it sounds like this. <laughs> So what we've got there is a just off clean kind of sound. Now to dial in a great classic rock sound, we're going to need the overdrive channel. Now we don't want too much gain. So I'm going to start my gain at about 10 o'clock, but I want to really make the amp work. So I want the amp to be creating the gain from the preamp and the power amp volume rather than the actual gain control. So I'm going to push the channel volume a bit and push the master volume a bit. <laughs> So we get this really natural sounding gain. And now I just want to further that. So I'm going to boost the gain a little bit more just to get a bit more saturation there. So this is where I'm going to start tweaking my EQ now and adding other things. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just come back into the pre-effects and I'm going to turn my compressor on. Now the reason I'm using a compressor on a slightly off halfway blend, so I've got a little bit more compression blended in than clean, and on a slow setting. The reason I'm using this is just to even things out a bit more, but also when you really crank a tube amp, the amp itself naturally compresses. So if you're playing at a low volume, having a compressor can somewhat simulate the feel of using a crank tube amp. So I'm running the compressor for this as well. I'm gonna be using the drive in a little bit. So I'm going to come back here a moment and we're just going to EQ this slightly. So what I want is a big British classic rock star sound. So we want some more mid-range. We definitely want more mid-range and maybe a little bit more bass and a little bit more treble. But notice I'm leaning more on this mid-range push. <laughs> Now for me that's a little bit too bright so I'm going to back off that travel now a little bit and put a bit more low end in there as well and a bit more mid because I want a really thick sound. That's exactly what I want because it's a big thick sound without being too gainy when we play chords we get all that separation. So that's exactly what we want from a classic rock tone. Then, if we want to boost that, so this can either be used as a gain boost if you want a bit more gain out of the sound, or as a lead boost, we can turn on our overdrive pedal. 
So I'm going to put this in the TS mode. The gain I'm going to set to one. So we just want the tiniest bit of gain to be added. It's more of a boost that's hitting the front end of the amp and the tone you can use to taste. <laughs> So that would work as my lead boost in this case because I'm adding a bit of gain just to add a little bit more sustain to single notes. You can also use that with gain on zero and the tone to taste just as a way to tighten up the amp a bit more. So you could turn that back to overdrive mode, for instance, and it's not going to add as much mid range. <laughs> So if you want to just boost the amp a bit more, that's a great setting for that. The TS mode works great as a lead boost because it adds a little bit more mid kick. And it just makes the guitar sound a little bit more aggressive. So there you go, there are the basics of dialing in a great classic rock tone with the St. James Suite. EL34 amp, lots of mid range because we want that big British sound, but not too much gain from the amp. Think more volume, so big sound, but a lot of clarity. Hit the front end with a bit more gain to either tighten it up or add some more aggression for leads. Compression to just make it feel a bit spongier and a bit more like a crank tube amp. Bit of reverb for space and a dual cam setup. Panned however you want. You can have these right on top of each other or hard left and right, whichever way suits what you're doing. That is a great starting point for anyone dialing in a classic rock star tone with the software. Use this and make some tweaks and let me know down below in the comments what combination of things you're using to get your ideal classic rock star sound. Don't forget to check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more videos just like this. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, please check out musicteacher.com. There's a great network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon.